up y'all it's your girl I am monique and i'm back today with another video i am in my car again i've not been in my car a lot lately but um as i mentioned on the video my most recent video i um my lips are so weak right now i'm gonna look less on anything six in the morning it's going on seven i am sitting in my car because i am about to drive to the airport to go to houston again Going to Houston again, y'all. And as I mentioned, it is my sorority sister Jasmine <laughs> Booker. It's her birthday, and um, she don't know I'm coming. I just text her like at midnight. I was like, "Happy birthday!" She was like, "I know. I wish you was coming." And I'm like, "I know." With the sad face, bitch, I'm on the way. I ain't gonna let this whole hold this over my head. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all later once I get to the airport because I gotta drive there. Who knows? It might be traffic, and I'm trying to avoid traffic. So. I see I want to make it to the airport. And I didn't pay for parking, so I got to park at the airport. Fingers crossed there's some parking. Okay, I am in Houston. I'm in Houston. It's like my apartment on it. I know. Um, I am in Houston and the line was much better over here. So I got a rental car, of course, and the rental car line was like two hours. I'm like, are you serious? Like, this is ridiculous. So my flight got here at 10 30. Um, I said the rental car line for like an hour and a half. Didn't actually get the rental car until about 12 30 ish. So I um, got some quick Wendy's over there because I was starving. And now I am at the Airbnb. Originally I was getting a hotel, but I'm like, I need an Airbnb. Like I need the space of Airbnb. Hotels are cool, they're clean. I like them too. There's like no space. And I'm going to the patio. Cause I be wanting to um, you know, do growth activities on the patio. So um yeah, need the patio and I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the Airbnb. I was so nervous because it was another Airbnb that I wanted, um, but it was on flexible dates, and I didn't realize it was on flexible dates. So it was actually trying to book me for the 13th or the 15th, I need the 11th or the 13th. So that didn't work out, and it was like, um, we have another property that we're listing tonight, and I was kind of nervous because that's kind of sketchy. It's like, hmm, you know? It's like, is it gonna be real? Cause I know people be scamming on Airbnb. So like, that was my whole thing. I didn't want to get scammed and then get here and then have to get a hotel. Like that's doing too much. So um, I just got here, I had to come up and get the key and then went back down to get my bags, but perfectly fine. It's not that many levels in the building. So um, yeah, let me give you a quick little, brief little, brief little whoop the whoop the whoop. Okay, so here's the front door. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay. Kind of lights on in this joint. Okay, so here's the kitchen. Super cute. Nice little stools. Um, I feel I feel like they just leased this place or because everything in here is new, you can tell the couch is even new. But cute kitchen. It's much better than the last Airbnb I had in Houston. I hated it. Um living area. Same colors as my place. You guys haven't seen that in my place. Little lamp. They got a Keurig, even though I don't drink coffee. I think it's a good asset to have for Airbnb for people who do drink coffee. Um, came with some waters, which I need because I'm a thirsty bitch. Um, get more coffee. And that's the washer and dryer. Has the TV, let's hope this thing works because the last Airbnb TV didn't work. This is cute though, they got mints in here. Got a nice candle, I wonder if I can light that Max. Can I light that candle? I thought this was cute, these little glasses over here. Another little plant. Nice little patio to sit down, do your thing. And here is the bedroom. It's 
cute. I'm happy this place doesn't have carpet only in the bedroom. Let's see how hard this bed is. Let's hope. It's It's not horrible. It's not like the last Airbnb we had when we were just looking for Maddie birthday. Now those beds were rock hard. Like that damn near turned me off from Airbnb all together because the bed was so hard. But this is this is doable. It's cute in here. Sort of just like a closet. It had a blanket in there. They got a nest, which is great, like my place. Come all in my face with it. Nice little mirror for me to take me some photos, do me some videos. I was actually supposed to record a video today. I still might, if I have the time. I brought my ring light. But here, here's the bathroom. I don't want to be in here too long. Cute little bathroom. I hate that it's a stand-in shower, but we're going to go get some shower shoes for that. And a nice big closet to put my luggage. So... That is the quick little Airbnb. Um, I got a one bedroom because it's just me staying here. So, yeah, I'm about to unpack a little bit, I guess, fix my hair because my wig is coming up on the side. What the hell is going on there? And um, I'm actually going to run to the mall because I mentioned she's having a polo party and I don't have anything to wear. I have shoes. I have an outfit, but I kind of want something else. So, I'm going to run to the mall and meet Raven them there. And, yeah, that's tonight. So, I'll see y'all later. But, um, no, I am getting dressed and I'm gonna go to J Day, which she does not know I'm here, so and she still don't know, so that's great. And I'm really pressed for time, it's like nine o'clock, and just got out the shower, so um, yeah, I will update y'all when I get done doing my makeup. I think Portia's coming here and Raven's coming here too, so yeah, y'all will be Raven. Peace out because my music is gonna start playing again. Hey. Lighting is horrible. There we go. There we go. Um, I didn't record last night. Um, it was just so much music and it was so dark you wasn't going to be seeing anything. So I just post the videos that I do get from people. Um, but we are headed to brunch. We are late because we're there at 11 o'clock. It is 12.03 and I was only five minutes away. I was pretty much ready, but I wasn't ready. I could have got ready. Like I've been up at 8.30, but no one else was up getting ready. Like So I was just going to be sitting around looking stupid. You know what I mean? So, um, I am pulling up to the location. I just wanted to give y'all an update and I promise I am vlogging today because I leave tomorrow. So, I'm vlogging all day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, I look super cute. I love my makeup. I haven't done my fake mold in a while. Tell me what y'all feel about it. Like, I love it. Like, I always do two. One here and here. But I'm, I'm driving, so. And I'm not from here, so I shouldn't be driving and vlogging. So, I'm going to see y'all later. Yo. Portia, tell them where we just came from. We went to Taste Bar, and the shit was fucking amazing. But the bad part is our food is here. We finna eat our food now. Portia food back there. It was so motherfucking hot. We had to leave. I was so, I was, I ain't. Portia still sweating a little bit in the corner. It's so hot. Yeah, it's like, so hot. I, I just took my shorts off. I had on jean shorts. Sweating places, you're supposed to be sweating. Wig, I'm, I'm thinking my wig gonna come off. It's so goddamn hot. Thanks. Everybody else at the restaurant enjoying conversation and our table is like, oh my god, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, I'm ready to go, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Thanks, so um, We finna eat our food now and um Yeah, we gonna no, do we a little chit chat. We're gonna do a chit chat oh, with y'all. We're gonna do what we do, grown people activities, and then we're gonna come back on here and talk to y'all. I got some stuff for y'all, so hold on. Um, today we just wanna touch on the subject of like girl call and like um how do we feel about girl call and the whole Portia Williams situation with Portia Simon and what's her name Fallon? Mm -hmm. Fallon she just had a YouTube thing that came out I haven't seen it yet but I am going to watch it um but that's a whole nother subject but okay what do you think about the situation let's start there as far as where is Fallon wrong or she like wrong? okay so for y'all that that don't know Portia Williams is from Housewives of Atlanta and she recently was Portia's been there for forever. And this most recent season, she had a friend that they bring on the show. Um, just because they bring that friend on the show, that don't necessarily mean that's your friend. You just got to have somebody to bring you on the show, pretty much. That's how it go. But um, they listed her as Portia's friend. So on the show, Fallon had a husband by the name of Simon. Simon and Fallon is now getting divorced. 
I didn't have to rush it. I just learned my shit. Hey, no. Yeah, they didn't have to rush it. Get a divorce, and um, Portia is now engaged to Simon. And it's always been, they got engaged within a month? Yeah. Come on. So that's the whole backstory. Boom. My question to you is, is Portia, is Portia Williams wrong? Or is she not wrong? How do you, like, how do you feel about that part of it? Um, kind of when I thought about it, I said, they consider her as a, okay, so. I had that brush my teeth. What do Portia, like do Portia consider her, this her friend still, or is she just consider her as in just being somebody associated? Portia you know? said that's not her friend. And Fallon said that they're not friends, so. So I don't think she was wrong. Okay. Um, what do you, what do you think? And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I don't feel like it's wrong. No, I don't, I don't think they're Portia. Ugh. I, okay, so on the outside looking in, from a viewer standpoint who don't understand reality TV, let me start there. For someone who wouldn't, who don't understand reality TV, they're gonna feel like Portia is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because Portia, cause Fallon is introduced on the show as Portia's right. friend. But however, they're not really friends, they just use that title to get her on the show. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention to Basketball Wives, every season, the new person on the show is who friend? Jackie, different name Jackie friends? Yeah. Jackie don't know them people. Like, no. So that's why I get that <coughs> from people who don't understand it. Just like, oh, they just listen to her friend. Yeah, she's wrong. Me personally, I just feel no, she's not wrong. They're not friends. I don't think she's wrong. And let me say this: it's I'm just we all that. have, and even if as a friend, we all have different types friendships. Of yeah. Like I have my friends that I know they nigga off limits. I don't even want that nigga, like, it's not even, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, nothing like that. And I have friends, like, you know, I just go out with, or it's no... Yeah, you know, I was saying that, I said you got different type of friendship. You got people that's just business friends. Mm -hmm. You got your, your home girls from home. Some of them might got, like, college friends. Yeah. Like, you got friends from different shit. You got friends you go off at the club, you got friends you go off to eat with, you got friends that you travel with, you got a travel group. You got your locals. And then at the same time too, there's so much to say. But um, at the same time, Portia, like I said, I just don't feel like she was really wrong because if she don't consider Helen her friend, then I don't think anything is wrong with it. That's just like, if, just per se, like if I was talking to a guy and it didn't go nowhere with me and him and I didn't see the potential of him, but I feel like he's a better match for somebody else. I, if he met up my friend or my friends, I wouldn't care if he was to talk to my friend. You wouldn't? I wouldn't care. Okay, so that's that's a good point. So with that being said, it didn't go nowhere with y'all. Where did it go? Like, it wasn't just like a text thing? I said we probably text a couple of times or something. Have you ever linked up? Maybe went out for a drink or something, and it wasn't like that. We see you cool as friends more than anything. And just, okay. Like okay. the vibe just not there, then I would pass it to my friend if he wants to talk to one of my friends. Like I wouldn't have a problem with it. So, okay, so would you tell your friend that y'all went on a date? Yeah, I would tell her like, bitch, we, we text and come say we ain't going nowhere. Okay. So, I mean, and you got some friends that'll be like, okay, I'll talk to them. And some of them like, no. Nah. Yeah, of course, but nah. Because I'm just like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like if, okay. If a guy or a, if a guy, a female, whoever is interested in someone, like, a, you know, I just don't know how to feel about them trying to be attracted to me and my, um, my home. But he may, a guy may still find you and your friend attractive, just, and there may be a reason why he finds your friend attractive. True, true, true. Don't mean he attracts her by looks. Okay. And yeah. don't mean he wants her. You know, you attracted to me, but don't mean I want you. That's upstairs. Cool. Be, be, be be sketchy, okay. I want you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, he may be attracted to you by looks. He may be attracted to your friend's personality or her hustle. So you can't really just say, "Yeah, oh, he attracted to me." I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just I never been in that situation. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. It don't bother me. So yeah. Like if he's a better, damn, if she's a better match for him, then by all means. 
Right. Do you think so? No, you remember somebody like you, bitch? And I, him, though, I wouldn't. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, like, no. We all do our own different tastes anyway, like. We so did, like, do. completely, we like, did. all of, like, just completely. Even though some of my friends ain't got no taste or type. Yeah, but I have a type for sure. <laughs> you did, you did, tall, dark. Skinny. Girl, no boy. <laughs> Girl, oh, my God, skinny. Yeah, I like, I like them, them little slap and slim. The girls got to be smaller than her. Just my... Not in height, but body type. <laughs> See, size, they got to be smaller than me, size. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just... Yeah, it's just like certain things that I just... Just off the strength of certain people. That, but, yeah, I just... Yeah. It's time for us just for certain things, um, and there's certain things I wouldn't do, certain things she wouldn't do. But some people are different, like they, they don't care. They got I know groups of girls that uh, slept on the same person. I can't. Like and knew about it. I can't. Like, y'all okay with that? I'm, that's awkward. Like, say like me and one of my closest friends done. Like that was her that was her boyfriend first and I double back and went a few few years later. No, that's weird. Like what like what would be going on in my mind? Like what be weird thoughts? But why would you even want Well the dude like that your friend didn't have? Yeah, no, you get it all left over lasagna, baby. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't think Portia was wrong. Um, I know in the beginning, like when I did, before I before I broke it down to the backstory of how things went, and you know, understand the reality TV. No, she's not wrong. But um, hey, I, if that's her man, she gonna stick beside him. <laughs> I'm gonna wait too. Ooh, Portia knew what she was doing. Hey, that's what the fuck Portia did do. Portia knew what she was doing. Well, soon as he, I'm pretty sure, like, soon as he, like, shows some interest in her, more she like, yeah. Y'all broke up, sweet. the man. Continue to change. Cash my go. Okay, wait. So, talking about him, what do you feel about the little female that came on top of him? He got him $3,000. Somebody said that? Yeah. He was, she was saying that, okay. Him and Portia and then got engaged or get married or whatever, but he just gave me money. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. But it was like three thousand. That's all you got. Like, wait. <laughs> I said you should have got more. You oh, should have got more. That man got some cheap money. Look, they said he's a multi-millionaire and you only got three thousand. You bitch. You just could have got a Chanel bag. Bitch. That's a pair of shoes for him. She should at least got some. A nice suit for him. This ain't nice shit. You this could got a working soul. That's pocket trade. You this could have got a working soul that way. <laughs> and sold in a sum. That bitch said three pounds too. Yeah, because Portia's ripping the benefit. And for him to even give you two thousand at one time to do a thousand, what was that for? It like, was it was two separate instances? Yeah. Two it was two thousand at first, and then he gave three thousand. So what did you say? I think my rent paid. I need some popping with it, this bitch. You was I like, what? You asked if I need my rent paid. You made like that. I live in the big house. <laughs> How much y'all rent? You paying that way for her? Straight up. Oh, God. Uh, $3,000. I live in Buckhead, Atlanta, high rise. <laughs> no, shit. I was $6,000. Shit. Anyway, bitch, where you live? LA. <laughs> New York. Bad. <laughs> No, but yeah, she was that. That's that's she fuck. She really played herself. She should have kept that confidence for herself. But that's all we got on Portia Williams. And in the comments, put what y'all think. Was she right? Yes or no? Oh, Chad might have one. And if you say yes, she was wrong. Then let us know why. Yeah, explain why she was wrong. I want to know everybody's opinion about that. Like, why do you think that she was wrong? Because everybody got different opinions on what they feel, you know, what they girl code or shit is. So um, I don't think she was wrong, but hey, if you do, let me know. Maybe she's. Yeah, no. 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, turn the notification bell on, follow me on Instagram at I am Erin Wani. Do you want to Instagram out there? Peaches Room. There you go. Put that Peaches Room right here. Peaches probably. And I'll see y'all in the next video.